hello hello you beautiful naughty creatives and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Selassie and I just want to take a moment to wish everyone a great new start to the new year um, I hope everybody's you know transformations are going as planned and everybody's being adventurous taking new risks and just you know being more in tune with the self okay so definitely i appreciate all of you um the subscribers that started with me last year with my making my youtube channel and also i want to welcome the new naughty subscribers okay i definitely appreciate you and i'm grateful for everyone who is just um taking the time to you know support and just share your love of crocheting you know so definitely go ahead give me a thumbs up to say it back how hope everybody's having a great year and um make sure that you subscribe turn on your post notifications that way you get to see all my new um beautiful creations as soon as they pop up on the interwebs okay and let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial um so as you can see here I've actually got um, this is the first piece of the item that we're going to be making which is going to be our um, kaleidoscope shorts okay so this is actually going to be a set piece so definitely um, after this tutorial I will try to make the um, top and put that out pretty soon just so you guys can have this set already especially because spring and summer is right around the corner okay so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. For this piece, you're going to need your scissors, a 5.5 millimeter hook, and also your darning needle, okay? And uh, for the brand of yarn, I've had this yarn honestly for so long has probably been like over a year but I'm pretty sure that these are either um, Red Heart Super Saver or Karen Simply Soft okay so don't quote me but definitely any four medium worsted weight yarn is going to be um, the best for this project and you can have as many um, colors as you want it's definitely up to you um, to pick you know which color suits your fancy but the colors that I'm working with, I'm going to be working with three different colors. Um, working with a black. And, um, you know, I have these yarn bowls because of the fact that I had to actually um, fix my yarn up because it was in a state of utter disaster. Okay, so for those crocheters out there who are normally... Um, crocheting you guys will understand when I say that there is somehow that piece of yarn or that skein that you get and it's so hard to unravel because it just has so many different knots in it and it's so annoying it's just the worst thing ever honestly I just do not like it at all but definitely go ahead and comment down in the um, comments below and let me know if this has ever happened to you where it just frustrated you so much how many knots were in that skein okay but yeah I had to actually ball it up um, just so I would be able to work with it and I'm not sure where I um, got these yarn bowls I've had them for a while but I believe I got them either from um, Amazon or eBay I'll see if I can find um, where I got these if I can I'll definitely make sure to put the description in the um, description box below okay so I just have a black um, yarn there and sorry about my rant but if you're a crocheter oh my goodness it you just okay let's move on <laughs> and then the next color is um, it's a really pretty, uh, I would describe this color as a salmon color. I'm not sure if that's necessarily what it would be um, called on the label, but I'll see if I can find the um, color choices for you as well. So I can, if you want this specific colorway, that way you guys um, can know which ones to get. And then I also have like this blue sort of color here, okay? 
so this piece is really simple it's great for beginners intermediate and advanced um, and the great thing is once you start the pattern it's actually a repeat all the way um, for the width and length of the project okay so I'm going to be starting with the um, black yarn and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in alrighty so you want to start with the black yarn and we're going to be making a slip knot okay now once you make that slip knot and I'll go ahead and move this one here out of the way okay Once you make the slip knot, you want to go ahead and chain up five. Once you've got that chain, um, remember we're always working into the ridges, which is just that um, loop by itself on the back. All right. So you want to go ahead, go into that last ridge there. You're going to slip stitch. Okay, and it's going to leave you with a um, little circle loop here, okay? So now what you want to do is go ahead and chain up three. And now we're going to be double crocheting. So you're going to double crochet two. And to double crochet, you just want to go ahead and yarn over, go into the loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two. Okay, you want to make another double crochet. All right, and this counts as your first set of three. Now you're going to go ahead and chain two. Then now three more double crochets into that same circle you can go ahead and um, crochet over this um, end as well just leave a little piece because we are going to pull this um, circle shut once we have all the stitches that we need in the loop so you want to add two more double crochets and if you guys hear a little background noise, um, I'm going to apologize for that first. I've just got my little baby chipmunk, little fatty boy. <laughs> He's um, sleeping in his little rocker. Okay, so now you've got this set here. Chain two again. Another three double crochets. chain two and we're going to add just one more set of three one, two, and three. okay and then you can go ahead and pull this loop you're gonna see that it's gonna close it up Okay. Lastly, you want to chain two, and then you're going to slip stitch into that third chain on that first double crochet that we made. Alrighty. So now you've got four sets of three. So one, two, three, and four. All right, so one, two, three, and four. 
So now what we're going to do is chain up four. Okay, and now we're going to come um, to this space here. So we're not going to be working into the um, stitches directly. We're actually going to be, let me see if you guys can get the lighting here for you. Okay, so we're going to be working into the chain two spaces, all right? So now that you chain four, we're going to jump here and put three double crochets. Okay, so now that you have your three double crochets, you want to go ahead and chain two because we're going to add um, another set of three double crochets into that same space. And I know it is um, black yarn that I'm working with at first, which is a little bit harder to see, but the great thing is that we're not working directly into the, um, the stitches, we're working into the spaces. So it's definitely going to be um, a lot better for you guys to see what I'm doing. And um, don't worry, I am going to be transitioning to, you know, another, um, those other colors. So you'll definitely be able to see everything more clearly. Or, um, three double crochets three sets of double crochets you're going to chain one just so that you can come to that next space and you're going to repeat um, this set here so three sets of double crochets chain two and another three set of double crochets into that same space two to chain one again and do the same repeat as you just did into this next space two three chain two Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and chain one. And now um, we are going to end off with one double crochet. And this is the um, chain three space from the um, chain three space from the last row. I'm sorry guys. And you just want to go ahead and double crochet okay so this is what you've got so far okay this is what you've got so far and now you want to go ahead and chain four again turn your work now that you've turned your work you want to go ahead and go back into this first set that you did here I'm going to repeat the same thing what that we did on the previous um, row here so three Double crochets, chain two, another three set, okay, then chain one, and then now for this um, space here, you're going to um, just put three double crochets in here. So you're not going to um, repeat 
the three double crochets chain two three double crochets you only repeat that when you get to where it has um, three double crochets chain two three double crochets from the previous round all right so it's only going to be three sides that have the three double crochets chain two three double crochets the other parts Besides that, all you're going to be doing is three double crochets, okay? So, chain one, just going to put three double crochets in here. Chain one again. Now you're going to do the set. So, three, Then chain two and another three double crochets. And chain one. And then here in this space, I'm going to do three double crochets. And this is the set. So we're going to do another set here. So three double crochets, chain two, and another three double crochets. Okay, and then chain one. And then lastly, what you want to do since we chain four to begin with here, I'm going to go into that third, um, the second chain closest to you and double crochet. Okay, and this time um, we're going to be changing the color over to the salmon. So you want to go ahead and just um, finish the first part of the double crochet into those first two loops and then leave the last two loops on your hook. Grab your new color, pull that through the remaining um, two loops. Okay, now you want to go ahead, chain four. And now we're going to be doing um, something different. So now you want to go ahead in this first space here closest to you because we need to now expand um, the shape so it gets a little bit wider as we go. So you want to go ahead and double crochet three in here. And if you're going to be um, using the same color, I would just leave that last color that you um, used. I would leave it there instead of cutting it off because we're just going to be um, gliding it through on the project. So you don't have to worry about cutting it off. So now you have your three double crochets in there. You want to chain one. And here's that set again. So you want to go ahead and do the same set. So chain um, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Want to chain one. The next part, since it's not a set, you're just going to do three double crochets there. And chain one. Three double crochets here, chain one, and then now we're back to the set, so you want to put a set in here. Three double crochets, chain two. Three double crochets. 
chain one. And then this next space, just three double crochets. Chain one. Three double crochets. Chain one. And now you want to repeat the set. Okay, so now that we're coming up on the end of that color change row, you want to just go ahead and repeat the same thing that you did in the beginning at the end. So we're going to add three double crochets. And then chain one. And double crochet into that second chain okay chain four turn your work and then um, from now on whenever you the pattern is going to be chain four three chain four then you skip this previous um, double crochet here you're going to add the set of three, chain one, this set, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, another set, and repeat that all the way um, until the end. And once you get here and you finish that three double crochet, and when you get to the end, after this, um, the chain one, three double crochets in here you want to pretty much do the same end off the same way that you started okay and sorry about that guys my little fat little chunky man woke up <laughs> if you're a mom definitely comment down in the description <laughs> not the description oh my goodness guys it's so late in the um comments and let me know how long you've been a mom and how many kids you have i only have the one i was blessed with him um last year and he's almost eight months just a few days shy of eight months but yeah you just want to go ahead and continue what we've been doing So for when we first started, I did um, three rows of the black, okay, the three rows of black, and then for the colors, I'm doing um, two rows for each color. I only did three rows for that initial start just so we could get the shape. After this last chain one, you're going to end off the same way. So you just want to go ahead and double crochet into that second chain that's closest to you. Oh, whoops. And you don't want to close off since we're changing color. So we're going back to the black. And this is why I said not to um, 
cut off the yarn just so we could pass it through okay and you don't have to worry about um, the way it looks right here because at the end we're going to um, crochet over everything to make it look seamless let's go ahead and chain four turn your work and now this is the repeat so for this row we're going to do the same thing as we did um, here with this first color so we're going to chain four then double crochet three chain one double crochet three into this space chain one do this set and the set is um, three double crochets chain two three double crochets chain one put three double crochets here and you're going to repeat that all the way until the end um, and that is the pattern and at the end you're going to be ending off with three double crochets in this um, chain four space chain one and then put that last um, double crochet into the second chain so I'm going to show you guys Chain one, two, double crochets, chain one. We're going to repeat that set. Chain two, add three more double crochets into that same space. Chain one. So yeah, you want to go ahead at the end of each um, space, chain one. And that's going to be the. It's going to be that um, the bridge to that gap. on the end of this row I just finished um, this space with the three double crochets then chain one and then now at the end here I'm gonna do three double crochets into the space then chain one and do that last um, double crochet into the actual stitch Okay, and then chain four. So whenever you have, um, so this is the repeat here. Whenever you have um, done the three double crochets, chain one, and um, double crochet into that um, chain, then that next row, you just want to go ahead, chain four, skip, um, that section and then go into the space and do three double crochets and chain one and then just keep going into the following spaces so that is the pattern that we're doing okay. always want to remember when you get to the set you go ahead and put in three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet. So I'm gonna show you guys here. This is where the set is. It's going this way as well as down this way. So these are the three, these little points here are the three sections where you're only going to be doing the set. Anything else should just be three double crochets by itself with the chain. Um, chain one between okay so go ahead 
do that all the way till the end and at the end you just need to make sure that you um, change your color over to the next color so for me after this row I'm going to be going over to the um, the blue color for two rows and then I'm going back to the black for two rows and then the salmon color again for two rows and then lastly um, the black for one row so if you're making um, the same size as me which um, fits about a, a medium large you're going to be doing a total of 14 rows and honestly if you don't know maybe um, if it's going to fit you depending on how it looks just go ahead and put it up to you once you're done with the 14 rows and just go ahead and you know um, size it as you go there's nothing wrong with sizing it as you go So go ahead, I'm actually going to show you guys um, the color change one more time and then I'll meet you guys at the end where we put our project together. I hope that sounded good on there. Let me know if that sounded good, okay? Did I get the vocals? Is it alright? <laughs> so yeah, at the end here you want to go ahead and add three double crochets and chain one and then double crochet into the chain and now remember since we're going to be changing color you have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over pull through two and then for the remaining two keep that on your hook and grab your new color that's the blue And if by any chance, you know, I have my um, yarn still connected, if by any chance it's getting um, tangled up for you or anything like that, feel free to cut it. Cut it. <laughs> feel free to cut it and then you can always, um, you know, just join it um, into the loop. There's nothing wrong with that because at the end anyway, we're going to cover up any sort of... Um, any sort of loose you know pieces like this all right so now we chained four so since we did this on this previous row remember we're going to go and skip into the space if you have any trouble or you get lost at all just go ahead and um, look to what you did the previous the previous row that way you know um, to keep yourself on track All right, guys, repeat this um, for as many rows as you need to, as many color changes as you want to do, um, all the way till you get to your desired length. Um, again, if you're making about a size um, medium to large like I am, all you need to do is just go ahead and uh, continue on until you have a total of 14 rows. And I shall meet you once I get done with my last row. See you guys soon. Okay, so I am on the last row that I'm going to do. The 14th row. Just finishing up here. This is it. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Okay. 
All right, so this is um, the second piece that we need here. All I'm gonna go ahead and do chain one and then get a really long piece of yarn. Because that's actually what I'm going to use to um stitch up the sides and everything to give it that close it up and give it the short step. So this is it. Super cute. Works up really quickly. Um, go ahead and grab the other piece. Yes! Cannot wait till these are done. Really excited to see how they look on okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to one side what we're going to do um, a little square section here we're going to be connecting this side together and then the opposite side together as well so go ahead and grab your darning needle I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in. Okay, so what you wanna do now is going to go ahead and close it up. So all you're doing essentially, you're just going ahead and putting it through. Do the stitch. Just on each side. So just grabbing the stitches on either side. Just try to ma match it all the best you can. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way to and so just till this corner here and then I'll do the other side as well and I will meet you guys back here
Okay, so now that we're done with these two sides, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the point here just so we can create the space for our legs. And I'm only going to close up from um, close up this set portion here. So you just want to go ahead, just reattach with the darning needle. You want to leave a little bit of space so that you can um, tie it up and weave that end through later so it doesn't unravel. the last one I'm closing up that's what it looks like I just want to go ahead and read that through So now the section for our legs is um, created. And for me, um, this section is a little bit wide. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys how to um, decrease it down just a little bit. Go ahead, grab your hook and your yarn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom back in. So now we're going to be working on decreasing. Go ahead and grab your yarn. So go ahead and I'm just going to um, put it through the space. Chain four. I'm just gonna go ahead and add three double crochets to this space, chain one, go over to the next space, three double crochets, chain one, and now um, for me to decrease, I'm just going to go ahead and do half of the double crochet, run over, go into the next space, do half double crochet, and then you should have three loops on your hook, 
turn over, pull through all three loops. Now I'm going to double crochet again into that space. So what that does is it combines these two um, spaces here as one, okay? So this, these two count as one stitch. That next one by itself counts as one. I'm going to go ahead and add one more double crochet. Chain one, add three to that next space. going to decrease again so to decrease you want to yarn over as if you're doing a regular double crochet go into that space pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and leave two loops on your hook run over again go into the next space and you have four loops on the hook run over pull through two that there's three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that makes two stitches and two, um, one. And you want to. So now you're going to chain one, three, four crochets in the next. Chain one, three double crochets in the next. Then in the next, um, after this chain one, I'm going to decrease for the next row here. So you just want to go ahead and um, do that. All the way across. Guys, oh my goodness. So at this point, my storage ran out of my phone. But just make sure to turn on your post notifications and you will be alerted when I post part 2. Stay tuned guys.